this is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm at the annual European Society of Cardiology Congress in Paris. I'm speaking to Dr. Uwe Zeimer, who is an interventional cardiologist at the Institute for MI Research in Lufushafen, Germany. Uh, and uh, Dr. Zeimer, um, if you could comment on, there was a report this morning from the Credo Kyoto um, Registry that uh, compared PCI and coronary artery bypass surgery um, in um, in patients with triple vessel disease, and uh, what did you make of that uh, study? Um, first, it has to be mentioned that it was not a randomized trial. It was a comparison out of a registry. So clearly there is a selection bias of physician uh, deciding if the patient should undergo cabbage or should undergo PCI. And it can be uh, uh, estimated that patient undergoing PCI was a sicker patient, which is uh, underlined by the fact that the overall mortality was higher in the PCI group compared to the cardiac mortality, which was the same comparing uh, PCI and cabbage. So there was clearly a selection bias. But what the results show is that in the higher syntax score, like in the randomized syntax trial, might be the case for cabbage and not for PCI. I think this is has now been shown in the real world scenario as well and not only in the randomized clinical trial. There's a question about the lower syntax score. That means uh, an anatomy suitable for PCI. In this registry there was a higher adjusted event rate in this lower syntax score and this is a little bit unexplained. Why should this be? Because in the randomized trial there was a hint that in three triple vessel disease with a low syntax score with the anatomy suitable for PCI, the results are almost the same. Yes. And <coughs> you were telling me before that your suspicion is that perhaps um, sicker patients, patients with more comorbidities were getting treated with PCI and that might explain why even though they had a low syntax score, they still had a worse outcome with PCI. Yeah, I think that might be the most obvious uh, reason for this results because, again, the <coughs> overall mortality was higher, so there seems to be a selection bias towards PCI in a patient population with more comorbidities. And um, you were also telling me that uh, in the wake of syntax that um, in, in Germany, for example, the um, current practice now is for um, cardiologists and surgeons to work collaboratively on deciding which would be the best strategy to use on a particular patient. I think clearly that's the way to go to uh, get the best decision for the patient to have a conference between cardiologists and the surgeons and to decide uh, both which might be uh, the best uh, revascularization strategy, not only on the anatomy, but on the, on the whole patient, on the comorbidities, on the wish of the patient. And I think this uh, hard team approach is coming more and more popular in, in institutions. Mm -hmm.